Hi everyone, I thought I'd come back and show you how to do uh, make your own fancy tassels and as you can see these are gorgeous um, they're like the, well I call the angel tassel but they're fabulous and you can use them on any project now you do need um, a fairly wide cup and I've got this one here so it's quite deep and I got these at let me see I think they were called our beads on eBay it's just called our beads okay so this is what we're going to do and I'm going to show you how to do that tassel um, <coughs> first of all what we're going to need is a pin of course so let me see if I can find the uh, matching pin for this the one I've already done I can hear my dog eating his bone and he's absolutely going hell for the leather at it. <laughs> he's, he's teething as well, bless him. Let me just find the right pin because I needed two of the same and I've only got one. No, oh, no, that's not it. Yep, yeah, is that no? Too short. Oh, maybe that is that the same one? Yeah, I think it's the same one. So I just bend that back into shape. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, you need a split ring. So I've just got a large silver one here. And you cut your tassel, your chain, uh, as many strips as you want. Mine are not perfect at all. Or, you know, slightly different lengths, but that's what, that's what makes it nice. I mean, if you want it perfect, then you do that. And I've got nine on that, so I'm just going to thread nine on here. So I've got nine on there, like that. And then before I do anything else, make a loop out of your pin. I'm just going to start and make the loop like that. And hook that. Oh, wait a minute. You need to put this, sorry, put this together. Just squash it together like that. Oops, it is it. I'll lose one. Like that. Squash them together. Use your pliers and, and whatever you need to, to just get this together. So I do mine pretty tight because it does have to fit in that cup. Like that. There we go. Hook your pin on and continue to pull it around like that and it's got a flat end of mine so I'm going to cut that off okay just like that and then we thread that through bead cap like that see Raymond shouting at the pups because they're teething aren't they and they're into everything <laughs> they're like children okay then I'm going to put the uh, wings on and you know, this is so easy, you could put that on an earring and wear that as a, a pair of earrings. Make your own earrings. How fab is that? Think outside the box. Pop your bead cap on. I've just got little silver ones here. I can find the blooming hole. <laughs> oh, and I just want to get the other bead. Sorry, I meant to get the bead. Come here, bead. There we go. Just get a matching bead. Um, bead cap. Like that. Cut off. You only need this a couple of centimetres. And snip that extra one off. Take your round nose pliers. And now you're going to make your loop. Like that. And there you go. Straighten it out if it's a little bit wonky. That's it. And you've got your tassels. 
How's that? Easy as that. How much would you pay for those, like the outer cakes? How much would you pay for them in the shops? In a normal shop? Make your own. If you get the longer pins, you can extend them up, put crystals on them, and you can do all sorts with them. Make earrings. Easy as that, and I've just made a pair of earrings, and all I'd have to do is put the loop in. So, so quick, so easy. And you've made them. No one will have them like yours. Well, not really like yours. And you've done that yourself. Marvellous. That's all it is, a quick job. And I like them. So I'm going to make another pair, I think. I'm going to make a bronzy pair. Let's have a look. Got a little bit. I mean, this is why I keep all my spare chain. So here's my chain. Now this I bought um, on eBay and I just put in um, just chain, uh, bronze chain. And it came up and I think you got two metres or two yards for a set price. I can't remember the price but I've had this a while so I'm just going to cut. Um, let's have a look. What shall we do? One. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Oops, I'm losing the handle. These are so old, look at them. <laughs> One, two, three, four. We'll just see what it's like with six of them. And I need to get the other pin. So let me just. Oops, a daisy. I need to get a couple of these in the. That's the one I'm after. I generally use the bigger ones because uh, you. That's a little bit thick. That one. You can um, squeeze them together better. So I'll just have a look, see, I need the larger one. There's one. Yeah, do they match? Not quite, I don't think. Come on, woman. These do, do they? Yeah, it's, it's just hard to get them to match. Them two will do. Like that. You know, you've more of a chance to get them squeezed together. Um, just going to get a bead, a couple of beads. Uh, now, have I got long pins for these? Not really. So we'll go with the dark brown bead, I think. We'll go with a dark brown bead. Whoops, a daisy. I'm going to see if I can put a... Mm, I don't know if I've got a, have I got a crystal? Yes, I have. There we are. I've got some crystals here. I wanted to cut. It's a bracelet I picked up at the car boot. I forgot to do it. So all I'm going to do is cut that. Only need a couple of them. This where I, how I buy some of my beads as well. I do buy them in the market. Okay, let's get going. So now, what do we want? What's the longest I've got? Hmm. See, they're not very long, but never mind. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bead, I think. Yeah, might use that one. Take the chain and thread it on. I've done six for each one. One. You see I didn't measure it, measure them out at all. Right, close that gap. Use your pliers. And 
and this has to be quite tight because this is a narrow thing that it's going down take my let me make sure I've got the other ones no but never mind loop it over like we said hook it on and then close that gap make sure that's shut tight like that thread that through like that like you say it doesn't have to be perfect and then I'm just going to see if I can pull that through a little bit um, cut the end off thread on now yeah I didn't get the never mind I didn't get the bead cap to go with these but it doesn't matter I'm just going to thread those two on uh, and then turn that over that's just given me enough for that we have a fairly big loop on this one And there you go, you've got that tassel. Let me just see about this. Right, that's pulled that through. So just push that back through. Right, that, that's fine. And we've just got that one. But you know, they will get put on a project somewhere. So I'm just going to make that one again. Um, thread the chain. So I hope you've seen all this. Like that. Now you might make these differently. This is how I'm doing them. Quick and easy. No fuss, no hassle, no messing about. Not really. <laughs> okay, bring that in. Bend this two together. Just snip it round so that it pulls that in. A little bit more. You can shape these any way you want them. Take your pin. Hook it round at the top or the bottom, whichever section you want to call it. Hook that on. Close that up. Just like that. Take the head of the pin off, thread your bead on, I mean obviously I wanted to put bead caps on and that but I didn't do it so, no silly old, put your bead cap on, oops, oh my bead it's gone on the floor, there we go, pop the bead on, pop the crystal on, Right, now we'll just wait a minute because I've not pulled that through enough. My bead keeps dropping on the floor. Come here. That just shows my table's not level. <laughs> Let me just pull this through a bit. That's it. Like that. Bead on. Crystal. And turn the ends over. And then I've got a matching pair of very nice, fancy tassel. Tassels, should I say. I didn't cut the end off, did I? Snip the end off, girl. There we go. And wrap that round like that. And there you go. Perfectly good tassels, decorative tassels. Where did I put the others? There they are. So I hope that helps and uh, please try your own. You know, you, you don't buy them like that at all. You just don't buy them like that. You can't buy these in the shop like this because they're your own unique style. Or if you copy mine, they're mine. <laughs> I'm only joking with you, come on. Uh, try them and, you know, use them on your projects. 
You know, there's an awful lot we can make ourselves. If you were doing a mini, you, I've shown you how to make your flowers. Small or large, medium, doesn't matter. They're all there on the videos. Your embellishments, I've shown you how to do them. Uh, lot, well, not just me, but other people. But I have, I'm saying what I've got videos on. I could do a whole mini from start to finish, handmade, with all the embellishments made myself. And you can too. A little bit of effort, a little bit of time, and you can sit back and say, I made that. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye for now.